Okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to write an equation in slope-intercept form when you use a fraction for slope. So you're going to use the equation y equals mx plus b, and you're going to use the slope to plug in for m, and you're going to plug negative 13 in for the x into the equation, and 4 into the y for the equation. And this is going to isolate b so that we can solve for the y-intercept. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. So 4 for y, negative 3 twelfths for the slope, and then negative 13 for x. And we're going to solve for b. Alright, once you plug this in, can see that you have a fraction and you have a whole number. You have to turn this into a fraction by putting a 1 underneath, multiplying the top, and then dividing by whatever is on the bottom. So you're going to do negative 3 times 13, which is going to give you a positive 39 over 12. And you just rewrite everything and bring it down. Now you're left with 4 equals 39 twelfths plus b. So we have to isolate b, so we have to do the opposite of a positive 39 over 12 and make it a negative. So we're going to subtract 39 over 12 from both sides. is a whole number, so you have to make it into a fraction by putting a 1 underneath. We want both of the denominators to be 12. Okay, so we have to multiply by 12, the top and the bottom. So you would do 4 times 12, which is 48, and then 12 times 1. Since this is your slope intercept form and B is your y intercept, you don't want to leave this as a fraction. So you have to convert it to a decimal because it's going to be on your y intercept. So 9 divided by 12 is going to give you 0 0.75. 0.75 is the same as 9 divided by over 12. And then you are going to put this into your equation, which our slope was negative 3 twelfths x, and our y intercept is positive 0.75. So I'm just plugging in my slope and my y intercept. And this is the equation that you get whenever you plug it into slip-intercept form. 